Hi Tamara friends, today we are going to explore our solar system, all of the planets that revolve around our sun. So we've also gone on an adventure to the moon, this time we're going to explore all of these planets, we're going to suit up, right? So reach up, put your arms into your sleeves, get the top half of your space suit on, bend down, pull up your pants, step into your big space boots, don't forget your gloves. Make sure your fingers are where they need to be. Helmet, we're gonna take a big breath in, reach our hands forward, lace our fingers together, press our palms out, reach up, bring our helmets down onto our heads. We can't go anywhere without our backpack, right? Because that's going to be the part that helps us breathe. It has our oxygen in it. Backpack on, let's get ready to go. We're gonna start by saluting the sun. Stand up tall mountain pose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Lower all the way down, big breath in, cobra. Breath out, downward facing dog. Take a few full breaths in and out here through your nose. On your next out breath, you're going to step to the top of your mat, find monkey again, fold, reach up, reach out. We're going to dive right into the next one. Forward fold, monkey pose, hands press, step back to plank, lower all the way down, cobra, hips up and back, downward facing dog, find your breath here. Step to the top of your mat, monkey pose, forward fold, reach up, reach out, hands to heart. I think we are ready for our mission. So we're gonna find a little squat here before we lift off, okay? In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, let go. We're going to visit each of the planets in our solar system, starting with Mercury, which is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's closest to the sun. So we're gonna get really, really tiny. You can either crouch down like a little ball, or you can come to garland pose. This is just if you wanna try it. So like that, yoga squat that we did before to lift off. Your elbows snuggle inside of your knees. You reach your hands behind you towards your heels and your forehead comes down towards the floor. And you're super tiny and warm, just like Mercury. The second planet from the sun is Venus. After the sun, and our moon, it's the brightest object in our sky. So sometimes people call it the morning star. Let's visit Venus, star pose. Step your feet out wide, take your arms out wide, breathe deeply, shine brightly. Do you know the third planet from the sun? our home, Earth. So Earth kind of loves to dance because Earth revolves around the sun. It also spins around like a top. So let's start in mountain pose. Make sure you don't get dizzy, guys. Take it easy, but you can take your arms out wide or them down by your side and just give yourself a few spins around like a top. So Earth spins like a top. Get still, mountain pose. Earth also revolves around the sun. So see if you can revolve around your yoga spot, just like Earth revolves around the sun. You guys, usually this takes a year, but we're making pretty good time here. 
Now, I don't know if you're feeling really, really adventurous today, you could try to spin and rotate at the same time, just like Earth does. I'm gonna give it a shot. Not sure how this is gonna go, but let's try. Are you doing it? This is a really interesting experience, right? And then we have still mountain pose. All right. The fourth planet from the sun is Mars. Mars has these huge dust storms. It's also home to the largest volcano in our entire solar system. So you're gonna find mountain pose, turn it into a volcano. So stand here, hands and heart, take a few good healthy breaths in and out. Get ready to erupt. As you breathe out, let me do that again. Biggest volcano in the solar system. The fifth planet from the sun is Jupiter. It's also the biggest planet in our solar system, and it has 30 moons. So let's find our crescent moon here. Big breath in, reach up. You're gonna bend one way and breathe. Come back through center and find your crescent moon on the other side, breathing. The sixth planet from the sun is Saturn. Saturn has these big rings. So we're gonna step our feet out wide, take our arms out wide, and see if we can trace Saturn's rings. Let your feet be really heavy and still. Bottom part of your body doesn't move, but see if you can just twist. How far can you twist to trace Saturn's rings? The seventh planet from the sun is called Uranus. They call it an ice giant because it's the coldest planet in our solar system. So let's come to child's pose like a quiet, still, breathing planet. So come down child's pose. You can either take your hands out long in front of you as you bring your forehead towards the floor and your bottom towards your heels, or you can bring your hands down by your sides, your choice. Get quiet and still as you breathe here on Uranus. The eighth planet is Neptune. Neptune spins really, really rapidly on its axis. So this could be fun. Look around, make sure that there's nothing in your way, be safe, and see if you can roll around like Neptune. Spinning, 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 spinning. Go one way, go the other way. And come back to where you were. So we have eight planets in our solar system and lots of smaller masses that aren't planets or satellites, and those are called dwarf planets. For a long time, they said Pluto was a planet, but for now, it's considered the biggest dwarf planet. So let's curl up with Pluto. Find your way onto your back. Hug your knees to your chest, get really tiny. And think about making your way home. I'm going to show you how to set up for our rocket ship. We're going to rest today, not on our backs, but in legs up the wall. So you're going to find a little spot of wall where there's nothing around you. You're going to sit sideways so that your body's touching the wall. And then you're going to bring your legs up and lie down and make sure that your bottom is really close to the wall, hopefully touching but your bottom's on the floor too, okay? So
So you're so calm and so still, you're not lifting up. Your body is supported by the floor underneath you and by the wall, which is holding up your legs. And this is such a peaceful place to be still and rest. So you're gonna take a few moments here. You can close your eyes. Arms can be down by your sides or you can put your hands on your heart and your belly. Get totally still and calm, quiet, peaceful. And drift through space. And when you are ready to land safely, gently at home, you're going to take your time and come down just the same way you did. So you're gonna bring your legs down and turn onto your side, find your way back up to sit. And that is the end of our adventure through our solar system. Thank you guys so much. I wish you peace and comfort and happiness and health. Take care.